Oral Roberts University becoming the second ever number 15 seed to make it to the Sweet 16. The team is now eyeing revenge over number three seed Arkansas tonight, who it lost to back in December. Joining me now, none other than the president of Oral Roberts University, Dr. William Wilson. Dr. Wilson, thanks for being with us. It's got to be an exciting time. I mean, Sweet 16, verge of grade eight, a 15 seed. It's good to be at Oral Roberts right now. Yeah, it's a great it's a great season, Will, and we're very excited and honored, of course, to be at this moment with the Sweet 16. Our campus is a buzz. Our alumni and 130 nations around the world are all excited, and we're very, very honored and uh, grateful to be here. You're going to get revenge on Arkansas. They did take you guys in December. We'll see. You know, we'll see. In our cafeteria today, we are serving uh, baby back razorback ribs. Every dish has bacon in it, so uh, we're we're planning to win tonight, and we're looking forward to. <laughs> That's nice. So apparently uh, being the second ever number 15 seed to make the Sweet 16 isn't the real story here, at least for many in the national media. It's rather your foundational religious beliefs that are the real story here of Oral Roberts' rise to prominence, at least for right now. This is an op-ed in the USA Today. Oral Roberts University isn't the feel-good March Madness story we need. It goes on to say, as the spotlight grows on Oral Roberts and it reaps the goodwill, publicity, and revenue of a national title run, the university's deeply bigoted anti-LGBTQ plus policies can't and shouldn't be ignored. What's your reaction, Dr. Wilson? Well, uh, you know, Oral Roberts University has uh, been who we are for over 50 years. Uh, we're not ashamed of that. We're a culture based on biblical values, and we try to form an ethos and culture that we believe gives our students the best opportunity to succeed. So it's no surprise for most of the world. Uh, some people seem like they're really surprised about it, but really we've been this way for a long time. We believe in God's word, and we base our culture to our you on the Bible. You know, I know you've said this. Um, I think you attribute Oral Roberts' success in no small part to the fact that you've managed to remain open largely through COVID. Um, let's take a quick look at some of the things that Oral Roberts has done through spring of 2021. Residential courses taking place in person, implemented technology to teach both in person and virtual learning as well. Will only close down as a last resort has been a commitment of Oral Roberts. Staying open, how did that how did that remain possible? And, and is it, in fact, you think, a part of the success of this Sweet 16 run? Yeah, I think so, Will. It's been part of our success, obviously. The students have been able to be there. Our student athletes have been able to be in the classroom, uh, to be among friends some, and to perform well, and to practice, of course, uh, in person. Uh, we made a commitment uh, last summer that we would be the safest place in Oklahoma. So we have combined everything we can find out about coronavirus and science. We've used masks. We've had social distancing. We've uh, had uh, checks at the gate of our university at the security house where uh, people's temperatures are taken. They fill out a form every day. Uh, we've been very careful to keep professors distanced from the students. We've scattered uh, our cafeteria. We've done a, a number of measures. We've had a health and safety task force working really every week on new things to make sure we're as safe as possible. And then, of course, we've prayed. We believe at ORU in the power of prayer and the power of science coming together to heal mankind, but also to keep us safe. And we're grateful for God's protection. Actually, this semester has been amazing. We've had several weeks with no cases at all on campus, and it's really given us great freedom. And our students have been super cooperative right. through the entire process. Prayer and science. Imagine that. Not mutually exclusive, but partners in making this world a better okay. place. Dr. William Wilson, okay, baby back ribs, bacon throughout the day, <laughs> maybe grade eight by later this weekend. Go Golden Eagles. Please right. cheer us on tonight. We're looking forward to a big win. Thanks for being with us this morning. Best of luck.